Imagine man, Tifa, jiggle physics. <laughs> it will be a thing one day, and I look forward to it. I very much look forward. Well, Ultimacy also. Yeah. How many characters would benefit from the jiggle physics actually? Let's see. Hold on. Uh, Cloud of Darkness, Terra, Ultimacia, Tifa. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I want to try up here. This Prish, but she. But I think she's. No, she's not flat because one of her because one of her costumes is uh, Ooh, Laura swimsuit Barnes, oh, yeah. bikini thingy. Huh. It's a shame he doesn't have the HP the uh, HP attack arrow. Yeah. I think I heard he does have it, but I need clarification on that before drawing any conclusions. I really want to summon him. Hmm. Cosmos, I guess, but Cosmos isn't here. Any do you think they're going to reference Cosmos and Chaos at all, or do you think it's just going to be Spiritus and, and Materia? Uh, I don't know if they're going to actually reference Chaos and Cosmos, because I think I've heard this is supposed to be like a pseudo-reboot of the series. Yeah. By the way, have you seen the artwork for uh, Materia's outfit? It is something else. I think I've seen some, yeah. Yeah, so Furion's got some changes. Just a grid. And the grid has holes in it. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Uh, Furion was one of the characters I said, it sounds like it's two different actors speaking. And I will need you to highlight that when the match is over, because that is something else. Alright. Yeah, Furion's gotten a pretty big uh, change to him, where he's now able to chain three of his bravery attacks together in a row, not instead of just the two. Yeah. Naturally, this means you're gonna get a fuck ton of damage because imagine wall splat after all those hits. Oh yeah. Yeah. But Furion was all was already pretty devastating by himself. Uh, he was a summon core. He was bomb tier in the first game, decidedly. As much yeah. as that sucked. Huge buffs in the second game. Oh yeah, no, he got a lot more attacks. And the effects on all of them became became fantastic. Did he get did he get an R square? I don't remember. I don't know why I jumped there. All right. Blizzard and an arrow. Okay. Let's see, something popped, right? Yeah, yeah, there's a summon core. There, yep. Priorities. Try and be a little smart about this. Actually. By the way, how's that Medgar stage treating you? Not too bad so far. There we go. Oh damn, we get summoned already. Yep, just need to tell your people how to do it, which I believe is on down. Okay, L2 looks like it switches. Um, how... No, on the D-pad, it's one of them. It's that one. And I believe you can tell them to do that. Okay. No idea how it actually works. There it is. Now it just has to... I think the thing is, if you take damage while the meter is charging up, it starts charging down. There we go. Oh look, we're sending Bahumu on the Midgar stage, it's having children over again. <sighs> Except this is pretty! Yeah. Extraordinary cool, pretty, actually. Oh shit. I think he's about to level the whole playing field. <laughs> or not. Or something, I don't know. Here's the thing. Edmund oh. Children is not, is not a bad looking movie. I just wish the sky was a little less cloudy. Cloud smiles. Get any, get any citation on that one. <laughs> Which, by the way, now that I think about it. Oh, wait, Men are lower of arms. I gotta see this shit. That's terrifying. Yeah. That's a beam. That's a big beam. That's a pretty big beam. Oh, Jesus Christ. You know, it's amazing, actually, with, the, uh, with all of the Ooh. effects and models and the fucking summon flying around the entire stage. It is amazing that we haven't seen any slowdown. <laughs> Alright, so it looks like with different ranges you're going to want to choose different combo enders because this will connect with all forwards. If you connect forward at a certain range, the second ones will miss. That's really cool, actually. Yeah. Also, you can uh, side dash out some of your attacks. So that's really good. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, damn it, I had something and I lost it. Fuck! It's right in my life. <laughs> Alright. Let's see what we can do. In some cases, though, it kind of feels like these stages are way too big. And I understand it's three on three, it's like six characters. Blood but weapons! Yes! You guys don't understand, blood weapons are so fucking good. Yeah. In the original Final Fantasy 2 and in Dissidia. Holy shit. 
You get a combo with Fury and you're basically fully healed. Blood weapons were, ha were how you won Final Fantasy IX. You get, you get, uh, you get the blood sword on Steiner, and you get to that one area in, in Alexandria where, where you're on a staircase and enemies are constantly rushing you. You hold down that X button, you will never die, and you can grind forever. Sounds you don't even right. have to be looking at the fucking screen. <laughs> Alrighty, not too bad. <laughs> That's a fucking cool animation, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> okay. Yep, time to highlight shit. I'm gonna actually want you to turn up the TV a little bit for this. It's gonna be on left. No sound like Bosch. That that sounds a little different, yeah. Well, sort of. No, that's still him. I wouldn't know what. Uh, I'm not hearing anything immediately. Do it again a couple more times. That one sounds a little suspect. Yeah, I'm just. It bugs the shit out of me. Like, it sounds like that is a completely different person. Like, I, am I going crazy or? Like, everything else is the same. It's just that one. Hmm. I don't know, man. Shit's weird. That music sounded weird for a second. I'm not gonna lie. If this game looks pretty now. Imagine, imagine when it when it actually comes out in 4K on the Pro. Fuck. That's gonna be fantastic. Uh. Oh, you're choosing Vaughn. Alright. <laughs> now you're gonna choose Terra. Yeah, I'll probably have to come back to that. Oh, I tried the blue form. Yeah, it's weird. Vaughn has two different HP attacks. Huh. And, uh, and the funny thing is because uh, X. What are they called? EX. X, X, X attacks? What are they called again? EX attacks? Yeah. Um, the actual quickening stuff. What the hell are oh, they called? Oh, qui your quickenings. Yeah, in uh, 0 and 2. Um, in, back, in the original game also. Um, because they're no longer present in this game, they basically just took all of his quickenings and made him do regular HP attacks with Vaughn. <laughs> it's odd, but it's actually really cool. Um, I've also seen some weird shit where you can... I don't know, it's something involving like a weird light orb with him or something? I don't know, it's weird. I believe that would be Calamitous Oh, it might be orb. Calamitous Orb, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, I think it's... This is gonna sound weird, but I think I've seen it operate like a sticker grenade almost. Oh god, that just makes me hope for Laguna even more. So this is the same actor, but he sounds kind of weird here. I've got that one. <laughs> I've got that one. Does, yeah. Anyway, back to the rift. I'm still wait hoping we get the uh, original castle stage from uh, Final Fantasy 1. That's a really good stage. Yeah. Um, no, I think the only stage we're going to get for uh, 1 is... Uh, the, is the one from the cutscene, the one where we're yeah, in front of the castle. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Oh, no, that's already in there. Oh, good. Yeah, I'm hoping we pull up one of, the, one of these rounds. Yeah. Okay, now here is Pandemonium, I think. This is from... Oh, no, wait, was this the Rift again? This or? is Final Fantasy V. Yeah, oh. it's a Rift. Let's do this all right. I think some... With well, that fucking fight. final fight theme from Final Fantasy V also. <laughs> that's not bad. I don't believe... Okay. Yeah, that that one's taken directly from Squall. Vaughn basically has a brand new move set from before. Uh, yeah, and that that's one thing that does bother me is that he no longer changes weapons. Yeah, he doesn't do weapon, weapon switching anymore. He he only relies on the on the one hand sword. Really what? odd, but all right. See, what I take that to mean is a, is that they're basing this Vaughn more on uh, on the Zodiac Age than on the original, where you can do the free weapon swap. Now you're set to a class. And he's just set to a regular melee sword class. And that bothers me because uh, because when I was playing when I was playing Zodiac Age and I still am, I actually had him set as a spear user. <laughs> See, this raises my hopes that maybe one of three characters in twelve, like uh, I don't know, Bosch, Balthier, or Ash, would be included because twelve. Doctor Sid. Doctor Sid also. Maybe Vayne if they're feeling lulzy. I don't know. Did he have a proper boss fight, or did you only? Fight no, him? he did have a proper boss fight. It was after he hulked out from the uh, mist energy. Was and that when he became? Was was that when he became the garbage giant? 
No, that was uh, the undo actual undying boss fight, the very last one. Ah. There was a fight, but one fight prior to that where he he became basically hulked out and he became fucking Captain America, basically. But what now? He, oh, he got muscular as fuck, dude. It was crazy. Um, no, no, hold on. What the hell is this ability, Dreadnought? I don't know. I've seen it used, but I haven't seen any direct descriptions for it. I know Azure Charmers are a new move. I don't know. It's very short range. You need to be directly in front of them. I'm not sure what a base Azure Tor Torment off of. I can only guess it was one of the Quickening Enders. Um, I don't recall who would have had that. Yeah, exactly. I, it's a brand new move. I've never seen that name before. Um, it could be based off one of the, like the Water Ender in um, off the Quickening. Yeah. For those who don't know, 12 was basically my, final fa my favorite Final Fantasy game. It's really good. Yeah, it was also my first Final Fantasy game, so that might be a little bit of bias to going into it. No, I, no, I get you completely. Is it, it, I would put it in the upper echelon. Yeah, it's definitely one of those severely under. Oh, that's right, he has fucking jump now. Uh, Bart has Kane's jump move. That's fucking nuts. Well, they're summoning. Whoa, it's, oh yeah, summoning Rama, I think. Oh. And it's Terra, that seems fitting. <laughs> By the way, I'm just saying. So, uh, if you could have a summon as a playable character, who would you want? A summon or a summoner? A summon. Like, actually playable. I... That's hard, actually. I have two answers. Shoot. One would be Yojimbo from Final Fantasy X. Yeah. And uh, the other one would be the uh, fire caped guy uh, summoned from Final Fantasy IV. Mm, I don't yeah. remember his name offhand. I, ha I have a cheating answer. Shoot. Gilgamesh from Final Fantasy VIII. <laughs> if you take... If you take uh, no, if you I have, agree if with you. If you have Odin in in the final boss fight with uh, Cypher, if, you, if it lasts, I think it's like 10 or 15 turns, Odin will appear, and Cypher cuts Odin in half, and then after 10 more turns, Gilgamesh appears and, in and instantly kills him. I know, I love that shit so much. I want you to go with that or Final Fantasy XII with Gilgamesh, but I'm sad that was <laughs> that form was not in tw uh, 0 one two. Yeah, he had his base form, then uh, recolor his Final Fantasy VIII version, and then um, fucking what the hell was that? Thirteen game? I forget. Thirteen two. Not no, not that one. Um, you said thirteen game. Yeah, it was something that came around the time of thirteen. It was the DLC outfit he had a game basically made Agito, him look like Agito thirteen. Agito thirteen. Yeah, the one basically made him look like a garbage can. <laughs> I'm not wrong. No, you're right. Anywho, uh, so it's time for me to try out the lightnings. It's strange. When I was originally playing... Actually, hold on. Yeah? Is it cheating to say uh, Saz's Formula One racer? <laughs> uh, for that matter, I'm surprised she hasn't played it yet. Yeah? Hmm. Razor Gale, Crushing Blow. Crushing Blow is generally good. Um, Razor Gale is the, th is the one where she throws the weapon. Yeah, I'm gonna go crushing blow. That sounds better. Yeah. I don't think either of us have been hit by any HP attacks yet. I think you were once because I was because I was actually surprised Ooh. to see the HP bar go down. Oh shit! Lunar sub terrain. Oh yes, please. That is gonna be fucking pretty. Hey, see you. You have my thanks. Sorry. <laughs> Switching my loadout. <laughs> Switching my loadout. Oh yeah. No Does she have the classes? I don't remember. She does. I don't think she has medic anymore. But that was basically useless, anyways. It was okay. So later on, when I started really experimenting with lightning in my prior Disturbia run, medic is all right, but situational. If you want to build bravery without either doing stage shit or attacking them directly, that's the cool thing. It doesn't have a cap of uh, <laughs> what you can gain for your bravery. Hmm. So that was always one of the cool things about using lightning. Uh, other than that, she's always had a ridiculously good moves through Ra Ravager. You know what I just realized is that he's making me feel confused. Yeah, what's that? Does Shiva here, her face and her hair, it's like it's like the gray costume variant of Emperor Matthias. <laughs> it looks almost exactly like it, except blue instead of gray. I got it. Not you're you're po totally totally right about that one. I was gonna say it looks a little like Taylor's haircut. <laughs> All right. I wonder if you have full of its ability frames while you're side dodging. Actually, well, I'm mean, looking at I'm looking at her standard triangle, and I, is that a, is that a summon gauge or is that or is that a class change gauge? 
Um. Well, we'll find out. But that's in that's interesting. Oh Crushing yeah. Not... blow has tracking up and down now. Oh shit. That's cool. They kind of have to for some of the for, for some of this stuff. For exactly how elevated shit's gonna get. Summon core. Okay, she has a spinner that. Um, let's see. Oh, I get it. L2 uh, cycles uh, to the left, R2 cycles to the right. And then both of them together uh, switch to the cores. That's... Okay, that makes more sense. Fuck. Come on. Do you two feel like it has a little less impact when you're uh, when you're rushing for a summon core than when you were summoning for, uh, rushing for an EX core? Well, just because so far it seems a little more awkward, but depending on what it'll be like later... Hey, let's see what Triangle does. Your gauge is full. Oh. That oh, you have army of one now. That fucking gains me HP. Did you see that? Yeah, god. You have... Oh yeah, that's right. Army of one was her R square. I believe. No, that was actually a regular Ravager move. Really? Yeah. You can use it literally. Oh, you are? Time. Oh, just realize you do have classes. You're... How oh. did you change? I didn't. Uh, let me see how you do that. What did Triangle do? Did you push Triangle? Uh, triangle did army of one. Um, oh. How do you do the individual up and down ones? Uh, up triangle and down triangle. Mighty strikes. Uh, I believe I believe that means you take more bra you take more ray points. Not really complaining about that. Also, yeah, holy shit, it's really easy to combo in this game. It's like the bounce system in Tekken Six and Tag Two in <laughs> a weird sort of way. Yeah. Nope. Juggling is going to be a little more awkward though. So I'm unfortunately I'm having trouble trying to uh, accessing Ravager. Um, I don't know how you do it. Oh, okay, it's just like it was before. Oh. Is that on timer? Probably. Huh? Well, let's see what you got. Huh? Shielding is kind of like how it is in Smash, where you have a limited amount of shield, I think. Huh. So what attacks you got? This is weird. Seeing lightning summon anything other than Odin is odd. <laughs> oh god, this reminds me of a terrible joke from some years back. <laughs> I don't know why, but for some reason I thought... Uh, or no, no, it was a Twitter thing that I saw. Was uh, uh, Ali Hillis, the actress that plays lightning and Kare de Naruto and some other people. Uh, there, was a po uh, there was a post once where, uh, where she was on a flight and, the, and they said something, the flight attendant said something to the effect of... Uh, we can't get this plane off the ground, and and, and they think they think it's lightning's fault. But she says, "Really, I think I think this is Snow's fault. <laughs> I think we should be blaming Snow for this." <laughs> That's actually pretty good. Oh shit! And all of that, I'm amazed that there wasn't a 13 character called Sunny. God damn it! I mean, really. Although it does get pretty annoying and awkward when they say that Hope has lost hope. Yeah, I suppose so. So it looks like you are still able to combo like commander shit into Ravager shit, but that co that input's like tight. So I don't know if I'm gonna be really relying on that for a while. There's but here's the hoping fucking the city has a training mode. That's all we can ask for, really. Let's hope. I just w I just wish that uh, that this beta had had an actual uh, training mode because. There's a thing that says tutorial in the menu, but all that is is a tutorial video that just tells you what the buttons do. That's adorable. That's cute. Okay. Oh, whoop! There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me now? I almost knocked him out of it. <sighs> we're going to see this now. Piss off old man. Yeah. Oh shit. Ramu was either a summon or an enemy or something. He's a summon. Uh, yeah. No, in 15 specifically. Oh. Because uh, there was a thing where he was really important in the uh, episode Duché demo. <laughs> By the way, I love that that demo came out like a year and a half in advance of the game's release. And even now, the game still isn't finished. What, 15? <laughs> yeah. Huh. <laughs> They're still releasing expansion. Oh my god, have you seen oh. the shit that was announced at uh, Gamescom this week? No, I haven't. Uh, something good? Now we have Final Fantasy XV Universe. What? This is compilation of Final Fantasy XV. 
Oh boy. Because there's so, there there's a mobile game that's out or coming oh, out yeah, or that something. One. No, 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 but there's more. There's the game itself. There's the upcoming PC port of 15. But also, 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 mm -hmm. and I need you to stick with me on this one. All right. They are making a mobile port, a mobile port with a uh, 4DS style graphics of 15. What the? Uh. It is going. It is straight up. It is going to be 15, but with chibi DS graphics. How does on that mobile. work? I don't know. I 